In the bottom right hand corner you'll see a photograph of me in front of my wheelchair. I have a very long beard as a pagan priest and I had that beard when I got here. But someone started to attack me gradually over the course of time thinking that that was the best way to clean me up or harm me by clipping my beard a little by little with their family and friends network who thought if they paid some money to me as a penance for their sin of doing this to me and all the other things they've done in sexual assault on me that they might get out of it. I'm going to continue my talk now about the abuses of people, not at all. I'm going to continue my talk about homelessness. Well, let's talk about the impact of homelessness. If you have no job or money, then you have no avenue to pay life vital bills, such as for your shelter or for your utilities or for your food. If you have no transportation, because like me, police officers stole my fully paid for business vehicle license to my business company, which meant they should have never been able to touch it under federal law, never been able to impound it at all. But sadly, I didn't have my special friend to give my keys to. Then there's no way to network and interview for jobs because when a jobs ask you, and isn't that why police officers attacked my car? Because I made a comment of people in these ridiculous recruiter positions, do you have a viable transportation? I'm thinking I'm 50 years old, of course I do, but I certainly never thought I'd lose my car. If you have no telephone or internet, then you have no chance to solicit or gain help. So policemen know this, so they can dismantle your phone. Or violent, indigent people who are jealous of you want to steal your phone and steal your identity, like somebody like Jamie. 